Current setup. Uh, my current setup. Well, I have a 3970 PC AMD with 120 gigs of RAM and four Gen 4 SSDs in RAID 0. So it's fast. And then it does nothing, but it sits there and has colorful fans. Then I have a Mac trash can 2013 Mac Pro that has an external eGPU with 5700 XT and two Samsung PCI six terabyte RAID cards in RAID 0. And then everything is backed up to a Synology NAS and which is RAID 5. And that Synology NAS copies itself nightly to another Synology NAS in a different building, which is offsite. And so that's kind of the whole end to end system and backup. Somebody asked earlier about ubiquity and Wi Fi, and I don't want to get too far afield into Wi Fi right now, but yeah, I've had really good luck with everything ubiquity except for their cameras, which I can't get to work at all right now for some reason, but except for their Wi Fi camera, the doorbell works fine, but the hardwired cameras, I've just got nothing going on with them. But the Wi Fi works really good, contrary to my family's assertion, who thinks every problem in the world is actually caused by my Wi Fi. Um, and I'm sure all the fathers in the world can attest to a similar problem. But the actual hardware and the setup is actually really good. The uh, dashboard is awesome. You can see what's going on in terms of where you need to expand your network and so on and so forth. So I don't want to do a big ad for Ubiquity, but I should do another episode or two on the Wi-Fi side of the networking in the house because it was a big improvement when I, well, we went from, like you, the original one access point. And then my house is long. I think it's over 100 feet long, skinny and long. Like imagine trailers, but long, like a train. And uh, I had to have three access points. So as you walked along, you would join the different SIDs or SSIDs. Then now it has 10 access points and you don't have to because it all roams with ubiquity. So a much nicer setup.